Thomas Jefferson served as the third president of the United States from 1801 to 1809. He was one of the founding fathers of the United States and played a key role in the drafting and ratification of the Constitution. During his presidency, Jefferson faced numerous challenges, including foreign conflicts, domestic unrest, and the ongoing issue of slavery. Despite this, he made significant contributions to the development of the U.S. in foreign policy. Jefferson faced the ongoing Napoleonic Wars in Europe and tensions with Great Britain. He pursued a policy of neutrality, attempting to maintain good relations with both sides while avoiding direct involvement. However, this policy was not always successful, and the United States faced several crises, including the Embargo Act of 1807. The Embargo Act was intended to protect American interests by reducing the country's reliance on foreign trade and by forcing foreign nations to respect American rights. However, American businesses that relied on foreign trade suffered, and widespread unemployment and economic hardship occurred. Many farmers and merchants were unable to sell their goods and the act resulted in a significant decline in the nation's exports. The act was seen as a failure and was repealed in 1809 and replaced by the Non-Intercourse Act of 1809, which allowed trade with all nations except for Britain and France. A major accomplishment of Jefferson's presidency was the Louis C. and Not Purchase. This purchase doubled the size of the United States and opened up new lands for settlement and economic development. Jefferson supported the expansion of the nation's infrastructure, including the construction of the National Road and the establishment of the Lewis and Clark Expedition, which explored and mapped the newly acquired Western territories. The National Road, also known as the Cumberland Road, was a major transportation route that was constructed in the early 19th century in the United States. It was the first federally funded road in the United States, and it played a key role in the development of the country's transportation infrastructure. President Jefferson supported the construction of the road as a means of connecting the East Coast with the newly acquired Western territories. He believed that the road would facilitate trade and communication, and saw it as a way to promote economic growth and national unity. Construction of the National Road began in 1811, and it initially ran from Cumberland, Maryland, to Wheeling, West Virginia, then part of Virginia. It was designed to be wide enough to accommodate both horse-drawn vehicles and wagons. The National Road helped to facilitate the settlement and development of the Western territories. It was also important for trade and commerce, as it provided a reliable and efficient transportation route for goods and people. Thomas Jefferson's contribution to the United States' stance on slavery was the act prohibiting importation of slaves, also known as the United States Slave Trade Act of 1807 which was a law passed by the United States Congress that prohibited the importation of slaves into the United States. That was the first time that the federal government took action to address the issue of slavery. The act was motivated in part by the growing moral opposition to slavery within the United States, as well as the economic interests of northern states which did not rely on slave labor as much as southern states. The act did not immediately end the importation of slaves into the United States, as it was largely unenforced due to a lack of political will and resources. However, it did mark a significant shift in the national conversation about slavery and set the stage for further legislation and action to address the issue. Thomas Jefferson also supported the growth of democracy by expanding voting rights and reducing the property requirements for suffrage. Also supported education and the advancement of science and technology.
including the founding of the University of Virginia. Overall, Thomas Jefferson's presidency was marked by both successes and challenges. He made important contributions to the development of the United States and its government, and his ideas and beliefs continue to influence the nation to this day.